if you can make salads that you eat with chips. Are you really eating a salad? I don't know. Maybe it's a dip. I'm gonna pretend it's dip because I don't like salads. Hi friends, so I'm gonna show you a couple of the recipes that I'm making from the uh, Aldi haul and the Kroger haul, as well as using some of my pantry staples that I've put up over the last year. So the first recipe I'm gonna make is called, I call it, crack salad. It is so freaking good. The original recipe, I'll put in the link in the in the bottom part down below, um, was was like from the Shaytars, if you remember that a vlogging couple that were on years and years and years ago. This was, a, it's a quinoa salad. It's absolutely amazing. And um, I'll show you what the recipe ingredients are and what I'm substituting because I don't, I don't have it. So the recipe calls for quinoa. So there's my quinoa, olive oil, lime juice, corn. I have my fresh canned corn from my, from my garden this year. Black pinto beans that I canned, not from my garden, but I did can those home. Um, it calls for jalapenos. I don't have any fresh jalapenos, but I did make cowboy candy. I'm going to give it a shot and see what it, what it tastes like. Garlic, cumin, tomatoes, onion, cilantro, and don't look at that. That's for something else. And some mixed peppers. Um, and you cook the quinoa, cook the quinoa, and then literally chop everything else and throw it in the pan. And then we'll make the we'll make the dressing once that's done. So I'm gonna cook the quinoa. I'm just gonna cook the whole bag and I have a freeze dryer so the, the leftovers that don't fit in my bowl, I'm gonna put in the freeze dryer. Um, and actually I'm probably, this is gonna make a ton, but it is amazing freeze dried. So I'm gonna make a ton of it and then I'm going to um, just take out the portion that we're gonna eat in the next day or two and then freeze dry the rest. So, Let's get to, to, to working. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump this whole thing in a bowl and I'm gonna rinse it because the trick with quinoa is it gets really, really bitter if you don't rinse it really well. So I'm gonna rinse it probably three or four washes and then I'll be back. So I rinsed the quinoa and I'm going to put it in my Instant Pot. And I'm gonna cook this for, I'm gonna put it on Instant Pot for one minute. And this is about three cups. So it's a one to one ratio for um, quinoa and water. So I'm gonna get the water here. All right, so I just put three cups of water in. I'm gonna put my lid on. Do pressure cook for one minute and let it run. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go prep the rest of the vegetables. All right, so I added the the beans, the corn, onions, peppers, tomatoes, um, cilantro, and the cowboy candy. And I probably did about two tablespoons of the cowboy candy. And I also added, I had some freeze-dried garlic, so instead of going and trying to chop some fresh, I just had some freeze-dried, so I put that in there. Um, this does not have the dressing on it yet. I'm going to make the dressing here in a second. It's just um, a quarter cup of olive oil, like a third of a cup of that, a tablespoon of cumin, and about a teaspoon and a half of salt. So to use the recipe, I'm just, I just eyeball it. I just don't even measure. But, um, and then add that when you put the quinoa in. So the quinoa is coming, so... It just is done right now. Got to let it release for 10 minutes. And then I can add it to my bowl. That looks delicious, doesn't it? I just realized that my lighting really sucked. So just so that you guys can have a bit better idea of what it looks like. It is beautiful. It's bright. It's tasty. It's delicious. It's fresh. It's everything you're looking for on a day that is kind of cloudy and nasty. It makes you feel like the sunshine's coming back. So I'm gonna get the dressing put together and then I'll put the quinoa in here and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. And here we are, Instant Pot is done. Beautiful, fluffy, 
Let me fluff it. And look at that. Look at that quinoa. Steamy. Okay. So I'm going to take this and put it over there and then stir it up and put that stuff in. And I'm going to go ahead and add the vinaigrette, which is lime juice, olive oil, salt, and cumin. That's it. And then we'll stir it up. And then I'll show you later what I'm going to serve it with. Okay, bye. Try this. Okay, so. And a chip. So good. Fresh. The corn and the beans just make it really creamy. The quinoa gives it a lot of bulk. You're not going to be sad when you eat this. This is a happy meal. Adult happy meal. Get a chip. Dip it in. In your face hole. Eat it.